this video is to show you how to insert a new power adapter for the SK35 and SK80 power supplies. You start by carefully removing the back with a screwdriver about that size, like that, and you just gently insert it there and twist it all around the sides. Don't force anything too hard, but if you slowly take it all around, like that, then the back comes off. Next, you have to give the cable some slack, just a 10 centimeters or so. So all you do is you insert the, or you push this cable through there, and then you pull it back through there, and then you push it back through there, like that. So now your cable has some slack. Then next, when your cable has slack, you can push this with your fingers gently from the back and the whole adapter pops out in the front. You don't need to pull it out completely. You only need to pull it out until you can see the cables. Okay, next you want to remove the, the V-in plus and minus cables so you can put in the other adapter. To remove that, you need a jeweler screwdriver like this, and you would turn this screw, but not a lot of times, like about two, two or three times is enough to loosen it enough to pull out the cables. After you've loosened the cable, you just pull it back through these holes, like that. Don't force anything. And then you insert the new cable. So here's, here's the new adapter. Just loosening the cable here. Okay, so same thing here. Put it in, in the bottom. Put it back through through the middle the middle hole. And then back in through the top hole. And there you go. Now after your cable is through there, through the holes, you want to put these cables, screw them back in. Remember to observe the right polarity. In my case, a uh, negative is indicated with this white line. So the negative of the cable must go in V negative V minus like that. Um, this, the power supply is reverse voltage protected, so you won't blow up anything, but it won't work either if you if you put the polarity the wrong way around. So I'm screwing that one in. And then it's, it's tight. So it's only necessary to loosen those screws by one or, or two or three turns, not more. If you loosen it too much, the screw might fall out. And then it's a, it's a nuisance to get it back. So there's the second one. And it's tight. You can just gently pull it and see if it's tight. And then it's, you know, it's... It's good to go. Okay, so now you want to insert the, the, the front back. Remember the cables is on the bottom side where these spaces are for the cable. So it's very easy. You just insert it nice in the middle like that. And you gently push it in until you hear the click sound. And next what you want to do is to, to just tighten the power adapter cable. So you can see there's too much slack here. So I'm just pulling it there until, don't pull it too tight, but like that is probably good enough. You can give it a little bit of slack. And then you push this in and then you pull that one out and there you, your title cable is tightened. Then lastly, you want to insert the back cover. Make sure that the, the middle pillar 
piece towards the bottom like that and it's a tight fit so first you have to fit it in gently and then just apply a little bit of pressure once you know it's in like that until you hear that click sound and you can see it's tightly fitted.